what's going on everybody welcome back it's your boy calypso just to bring you guys an update on what's going on in my life as a fish keeper so let's get down to business i know you guys seen from far um i got some neon greens in the tank those are some diy frat rags that i did uh i just basically i um i just did them right now so i decided you know what the heck let's make a update for you guys so you guys know exactly what's going on so all i did with those it was some piece of acrylic that i had laying around so i just cut them you know make the holes on them and make them look like fret racks so what i did the previous diy that i did before those uh, plastic one with picture frames i used that as a uh, support so i could just lay in top and and i just glue them there and now they nice in place so i did this one here they can hold about eight eight um frat plugs same thing over here the twins they both the same and then over here this is just a flat one just for this um uh, flat tiles or frack tiles so as you guys can see i got some some of my goodies here they doing okay I'm in love with Zoas and Palitoas, so, but yeah, so that's basically what I did today, you know, some DIYs, this is a tray that I'm doing for my, uh, for the sump that I had here before, so I just gotta smooth the edges, and it'd be all set just so I could put some pinky pad or something like that. Another DIY stuff that's going on here, I've been posting a lot of pictures on Instagram, so if you guys not follow me on Instagram, you guys should go, because it's a lot of a lot of interesting pictures going on over there which um pretty soon i'm gonna be doing videos for this channel so you guys can see exactly what i'm working on um but this is um it's basically a brush or a cup holder uh, for the bathroom so you could put your toothbrush here so i just saw it and i say oh that's a cool thing i don't know if you guys um seen the those little it, i think it's to hold plants in aquariums and people been using it lately for anemones so that's basically uh something that you could use as a diy to you know haul anemones in or you could do all the stuff with it like i'm doing right now i'm gonna seal the top on um, the bottom i'm gonna put some miracle mud um probably some substrate and then i'm gonna plant this mangroves there for now and in this holes here i could put some frag plugs there so it's a multi multi-functioning um diy cup holder for a lot of things you could do in the tank so that's another thing that's going on here uh the filtration right here uh let me turn on the light right quick and remove the lens so you guys can see what's going on down there so i did uh, a couple adjustments to it basically i wasn't getting enough polish of the water so i had this this is basically um you know when you put a put a new fish in the tank like a cage so the other um, fish could get familiar to that fish so i just used that filter up with a lot of you know um, filter flaws and that way i'm polishing my water the skimmer still um i i don't know what's going on with the skimmer um really so i've been having a couple problems that i don't see see the skimmer skimming a lot i don't know if it's if I'm doing something wrong with it, but it's not skimming, I say, how it's supposed to, like how often um, this cup, I don't change it that much. So, eh, I don't know if, if anything is wrong with the pump or maybe I'm gonna give a, uh, last time I cleaned it and it didn't didn't do no good. So I'm gonna do it again and see, and see what's up with it. So, but yeah, the filter is working, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So that's a good thing. Other than that, you know, it just an autopilot right now. This filter autopilot. The tanks are an autopilot. The Twin Cities. This is one of the most easy tanks that I got here. Um, basically, I don't do no maintenance to these tanks. I do the only maintenance that I do to the tank. Let me just fix that. I do maintenance to the tank, but I don't do water changes. All I do is feed the fish, feed the coral, and change my filter, my filter pad. So all I do to this tank is basically, um, it just 
whenever I see corals acting up that they're not opening how they usually be. So I just, you know, clean the substrate, vacuum the substrate, and the next day they just start acting normal, I guess, you know. So that's the only issues that I that I have with this tank and algae growing in the glass. I got in this, especially in this one, I got cyano growing in the glass, at least only in the glass, not in the sand bed, so. But yeah, tanks look a little bit disorganized right now. You know, I just moving things around. Just, you know, having fun in the fish room and bothering the corals and the fish. So, but they doing good. That's one thing. The tanks are doing good. So hopefully, once I do the adjustment to this thing, I, I'm gonna show you guys so you guys can see how that look. Maybe I give you guys an idea and you guys can do the same thing too uh, at home with your tank and your mangroves. Um, over here in the display tank, everything is just flowing. Um, also an autopilot, I do, the only things I, I, I do to this tank is just those uh, clinic and magnesium and I also those cold water. So that's how I keep this baby running. Other than that, changing the filter pads and, and stuff like that. So, so far, uh, all I can say about the corals, they just, you know, lights are ramping down. So, you're going to see a lot of corals maybe not um, open how they usually be. So, but they doing good. You know, I can't complain. I did remove my green star polyp from the back. So, you guys can see it started encrusting to the glass. So, that's a good thing and a bad thing you know because i'm shutting down this tank um in the near future so that gotta come out but at least i can leave it there let it grow and then frag it off from there all the other corals are doing good uh nothing is dying now that i know i did remove my emerald crab because i kept seeing them picking up my purple stylo in the bottom so the bottom is kind of stressed out he always kept being right there and I see them picking out the polyps in there, so um, it was time to remove them. I just put them in my sump. I think I got maybe one or two more in there. I haven't seen them, but as soon as I see them, they're going to be removed also if I see them bothering any corals. My dandruff is finally open, so I don't know if probably now it's like in this tank, um, but now I'm seeing them, you know, open more than before, so that's a good thing. Um, here they all closed down. I was just messing around with the tank, so but everything in the tank is doing good. My A cans, I love my A cans, they closed down right now. Um, I was just messing with all this piece here, so they're not happy right now. And over here, my record is they doing good. My Montes, I love these Montes. This is my, my first Monty's frack from, from the big colonies. Um, I be posting on, uh, on Instagram. So this is part of those that I still kept um, until now, like the same thing with those two Monty's in the back over there and this over here, they're all from, um, part from the same colony. Uh, at one point that big colony started dying, so I had to frag it off and I say couple pieces so it's growing back again. So, but yeah, guys, the, the tank is doing good, you know, nothing, nothing major going on. Um, lucky for me the other day, I don't know what happened. I came home and the tank was filling up again and I almost had another accident where the water was going to come out, out of the, out of the tank. And basically it was the, the check valve out here. I had it to close. So I don't know if. You know, by creating those bubbles, that cup was straight into that tube. So, I don't know, by creating the bubble, it wasn't letting the water fall fast enough. And almost, almost, almost the water came out. The, how I noticed it, because my ATO, I kept filling it up and kept dumping it in the tank. So, it was getting filled up. Here you go. <laughs> Look at the guy right here. So, we'll see. Here... This um, calliope is growing, it's doing good. I got my dragon breath back there. I got some grape algae, not that much, but a little bit of spaghetti around there. But tank is doing good, that, that's a good thing. The tank is doing good. So let's just hope it stays like that until it's time to shut it down. A lot of these corals I'm gonna put into quarantine. Once I shut the tank down, 
Um, the rocks, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but we'll see. If I could get rid of any of the vermin snails and uh, any Aptasia, whatever, flatworms, whatever this rock got, then I go ahead and, you know, you know, do it basically with some treatment. If I could do that, then I keep them alive. If not, then I'm going to basically die them off and, and start start them all over again even though i would hate to do that because they've been with me for a lot of years over 10 years so we'll see another thing that i wanted to point to you guys um i don't know what's going on here let me turn on the light again so i don't know if i have a leak in left city but lately I don't know if you guys can see right here, it looks kind of wet. So, I don't know, I keep drying that spot right here and water keep coming out. So it's a leak somewhere. I just can't figure out where it is. And I don't see no water falling down in the floor, nowhere else. So I gotta check exactly where that leak is coming from. I see some salt creek um, in the overflow, so maybe it could be that. I don't know if you guys can see up there. It's some salt creek there, so that's probably what it is. Probably the union um, is not it's not completely sealed, so hopefully that's the case. But the the frag tank that I had, I resealed it cone it again, and. It was right there. This is a new escape that I'm working on. Something nice. I'm loving the way I'm going with it. So the fact that I had the RD recently coned it. So I'm planning to do the same thing to these tanks. I recently coned it with black silicone. So hopefully um, everything goes smooth and I'm gonna do that change. And hopefully this tank is not cracked and it just basically the overflow leaking. So I'm gonna switch one at a time and, you know, pre-silicone again. And I just, I don't know guys, I just love the way um, tanks look with the black silicone. Even though I like this clear one because you get like more open view to it, but I like them better with the black silicone. So that's the plan. So we are gonna go ahead and do that, you know, um, pretty soon. And then we're gonna check hopefully you know the tank is not cracked and and you know you know i get to just you know keep using it and and go from there all right guys so this is my outfit for you guys i'm not gonna take no more from you guys time um i suggest you guys if you guys want to know what i'm working on i'm gonna be uploading videos pretty soon not yet but pretty soon once everything is, uh, is said and done but if you guys want to know exactly what I'm talking about, what I'm working on, I suggest you guys to go see me at Instagram and you guys are gonna see the amazing, amazing, epic build I'm doing over there. So I haven't shared it here yet, but it's coming, it's coming. I want you guys to enjoy it step by step. Like I said in the video before, we're going back to the beginning of this channel, but this time we've taking it up a notch so you guys gonna enjoy it and love it and maybe you guys could do the same thing i'm doing this time is epic all right guys so like i always say if you haven't subscribed to this channel now the time to do so it's a lot of great things coming your way and like always i see you guys in the next one hasta la próxima your boy calizos out see you guys thanks for watching bye